before starting preparing don't go blindly i have done a six month internship at phone pay okay. and now i am working as a full time employee in amazon hi and welcome back to coding ninjas guys i'm kabir singh and i'm here with another awesome interview experience for you guys so today i'm going to be talking to ayush and i'm going to understand the phone pay interview experience So what I'm trying to do here is that talking to Ayush, I'll be briefing out how many rounds are there in the phone pay interview, and also I'll be trying to brief out every round for you guys. So we'll talk to Ayush. We'll try and understand that how can we, you know, prepare for those interviews, and we already know that how many rounds are there, what is there in each round, so that we are well prepared while we sit for the interview. So I hope you like it. So let's talk to Ayush and have a look at it. Hi Ayush how are you doing Yeah I am good Okay Ayush can you give me a small introduction about yourself Yeah so my name is Ayush Kerk and uh, I graduated from Punjab Engineer College Chandigarh mm-hmm. So this year only I graduated I have done a 6 month internship at phone pay okay. and now I am working as a full time employee in Amazon That's really nice that's great So Ayush if I ask you you know diving on to the interview experience now i just want to know how many rounds were there in the interview experience when you sat for phone pay there were three rounds one was coding round and uh, the two were face to face interview rounds where the first round was again a dsa coding round and the second round was hm round oh, okay 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 so moving on to the first very round what we are going to do now i use for the audience is that try and brief out every round for them so that they actually know what happened in every round with you and you can tell them your experience wherein you can tell them how many questions were there what was the duration for your rounds also you can tell them how difficult were the questions for them so you know we'll be able to guide them up accordingly so can you tell me a brief about the first round now so the first round was coding round and mm-hmm. uh, that was about 1.5 hours round and okay. there were three the first question was very simple like it was i think a simple array question okay the second question was a dp question that was of uh-huh. medium level you go to lead code and search for medium level questions that was of that level okay and the third question was also like we can put in like medium to hard category the reason okay. for putting the medium to hard category is that was a tree question but mm-hmm. the interesting thing about that question was we have to build all the tree correct okay that's really nice i guess you know that's something different out there wherein you have to brainstorm something out of the box that's kind of making your interview experience a little more better because you're brainstorming as well i know when you're sitting in that pressure box it's kind of difficult but now when you think of it it's really nice so that's great so if i talk to you about the entire round ayush what would you rate the difficulty level of the round to be will it be easy for you medium or hard for you so like telling the difficulty would be relative so all mm-hmm. the like the test coding test i have given i will put it in a medium category and okay. the medium category i will put only because of the third question because obviously we have to build all the tree and we have right. it in most of the cases so correct if so doesn't know how to build a tree then that would be a really difficult problem right so because i guess that's something which we don't really do in the questions that we solve yeah, before we most of the time we, we most of the time just complete the functions uh, right uh, you know building the trees is not a part of a lot of questions out there when we start practicing on lead code or any other platform i guess we mainly focus on the functions but uh, this question basically makes it medium otherwise it would have been easy for you right uh, yeah easy to medium that would be. okay works fine so moving on to the second round what actually happened over there so the second round was dsa interview round in that round we discussed over two problems the okay. first problem dp problem that was a robot problem where we have to move the robot from one place to another okay and uh, that was easy to medium category the good point over there was i was able to solve the question and was able to write the code and that goes in the first run like in the first run uh, all the cases were succeeded so that really like helped me in getting the attention of the interviewer like he was really impressed with that to mm-hmm. complete the question run and the second question was not like single question it was a build up question like if i will say like that was not a kind of question that interview was completely like sure i'm going to ask this he was building the question every time i'm answering a part so mm-hmm. it was a graph question but he started from a array part and then introduces some complexity like if we do this then what we will do and that question actually went for 40 minutes with six different iterations of adding different things and mm-hmm. uh, finally end up with the answer but yeah the second question i didn't like code because that okay. was already a point 
uh, one five hours of stretch of interview. That's great. Okay, so can you again raise the difficulty out here for us? Yeah, as a difficulty level, it was a medium. I will rate it as a medium because okay. both the questions. Were okay that's great so moving on to the final round what happened over there then so final round was actually hiring manager round mm-hmm. so that was not completely a hr round like where the hr just ask about things like uh, do you want to relocate and all that that was not a kind of round okay. uh, actually the person uh, that came was a very senior and was doing job from last past many years mm-hmm. and he asked me technical questions like uh, what are these technologies what do you like like he drive the interview in the way i give the answers if i give some answers he put up some another technical question over there and he drives that up right that was completely like how you are giving the answers because you have to really think twice in a very fraction of second to mm-hmm. make sure that what you are saying you should know like because you know like another person is going to ask another question on your answer right that's great that's great so i guess the way you are explaining your interview experience you might have had a lot of fun but uh, when you talk about the entire interview experience okay not talking about round wise but once you are selected and somebody asks you that you know are you would you rate this interview to be smooth for you or was it you know a little tricky to crack so what would you rate it to be was it a very smooth interview for you which went on and on and on or was it a little tricky wherein you had to you know come out of your comfort zone and solve questions so for me i will like rate it like if you are asking about the whole three rounds process mm-hmm. then i will rate it like a smooth but with little like tweaks where there are something different right, right. just a few obstacles out there which were interesting you know you had yeah, which was interesting that. actually like it was my first interview the first paper which i cleared after that i gave my first interview so that was a first experience so obviously some nervousness is there right. but yeah after the first question i answered in the first interview and the interview was really impressed and he literally told me like he is very happy that i am able to uh, solve it without any error without anything in a single go That's so great. like that drives my confidence ke, yeah i can that's that's no. really nice okay so finally moving on you know before we conclude this interview experience i would like to ask you one last question which is what would you advise your juniors or the people viewing this video right now you know watching this video to do or you know to actually perform or to keep in mind while they're practicing or preparing for their placements so that you know they don't make the mistakes maybe you have made and you can maybe save them some companies out there so what would be your piece of advice yeah, like there would be a lot of advices but yeah <laughs> like i literally started the preparation very late like mm-hmm. almost right. 1.5 or 2 months before the interviews so for that i will share a strategy like that worked for me i was very sure ke like what i have to do before going to interview so right. giving example like i know i have coding ninja videos so i have to watch all those videos and get the concepts clear mm-hmm. after that i decided i will not solve questions from there because those are like after each topic there are questions so i don't want to turn my mind into uh, knowing the part where i'm solving the question so i decided i will go to lead code i will select a class of questions mm-hmm. and i will only those questions even if right. i will be able to solve them in let's say one month i will if i have 10 more days i will revise them rather than doing more questions correct so that was my strategy and i will advise ke first have some question set which you are definite ke this is the thing i have to complete like if you are going to interview bit make sure you have enough time to complete that part like why i'm saying this because during the interviews this give you a lot of confidence even if you know like suppose i haven't done try in my preparation because that was not a part of video so i thought like and i don't have enough time but during the interview i knew if i got mm. a question of try i have to say i don't know right uh, if you are preparing blindly and going with a lot of syllabus then you will end up learning and learning a lot of new things rather than revising those things and comprising those things into your mind like what you actually know and what you actually don't know Okay that's really nice and I you know I really thank you Ayush for giving us such a good advice advice and insights of all these interview experiences so also guys if you want to read Ayush's article out I'll put the link in the description below he has written an article for us wherein you can read the phone pay interview experience and also practice the problems that were asked to him while he sat for the interview so I'll put the link in the description below to have a look and I hope you liked this video so hit the like button and the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching guys happy coding